it's a railroad that probably shouldn't exist today. After all, in 1958, it was weed-choked, nearly devoid of traffic, and facing abandonment. Instead, it was bought by a group of area rail fans with little plan beyond being able to run full-size trains. The new owners began giving rides on their newly acquired railroad. In 1960, a retired steam locomotive was acquired and returned to service to haul the increasing crowds turning up to ride the trains. Today, it is one of America's premier heritage railroads. In October 2003, number 89 was cosmetically modified to appear as she did on the Canadian National in the 50s. She was given a centered headlight as well as a CN logo. Pulling away from the stop at Groff's, number 89 sways and rocks with the effort of starting her train. Following the 2016 season, number 89 was taken out of service for a federally mandated overhaul. Work took much of 2017, and the weekend of September 30th and October 1st saw her re-enter regular service. While she retained her Canadian national look, the logo was lettered for the Strasbourg. After losing the services of the two Pensy locomotives, the Strasbourg was in the market for more power. Former Norfolk and Western 480 number 475 was found at the Boone and Scenic Valley Railroad in Iowa, along with former Crab Orchard and Egyptian 280 number 17. The asking price for both was too steep, so it was that number 475 was the one selected. In August 1993, number 475 was in the Strasbourg shop undergoing the rebuild for her return to service. The Strasbourg Railroad's engine house is where the fleet of locomotives is maintained. On a day in May 2013, we found 210 o number 90 undergoing repairs. The locomotive was painted for former owner Great Western following a recent photo charter. In the fall of 2019, number 475 emerged from an overhaul in full Norfolk and Western dress, complete with the centered headlights some Class M locomotives sported late in the steam era.
Joining number 475 in the fall of 2019 was Norfolk and Western Class J484, number 611. The 611 was brought in from Roanoke, Virginia for a month-long residency. The evening before her first public runs, the 611 joined the 475 for a doubleheader. The big Class J484 was easily the largest locomotive to ever operate on the Strasbourg. 